Okay, time for the picture that I drew on the board for the rest of the students while they were watching the Electron Rules uh, lecture notes. We talked about how electrons will take seats in an atom, and we can actually compare that to what seats would look like in a stadium. So, of course, we're going to call this Atomic Stadium. Now, if you think about going to a concert, all the electrons are going to a concert, and if money was no object, where would you want to sit at a concert? You would probably say that you would want to sit as close to the stage as you possibly could. If money were no object, you'd sit right down front and center. And this is Atomic Stadium, so our electrons are going to see the concert put on by the nucleus, of course. Electrons are attracted to the nucleus because it's filled with positive charges and they are negatively charged. So, just like a regular stadium, we have blocks of seats that are available and this would be the first block of seats. So this would be energy level one is like our first block of seats. And of course, in every block of seats, there are different rows. And here's our first row, and this is gonna be row S. And then, of course, within the rows, there are individual seats. Now, here's where things get a little bit stranger. We've already imagined all of these electrons, they're going to a concert, filing in one by one, where are they gonna sit? And Atomic Stadium, instead of having individual seats like most stadiums, you know, electrons, you can put two of them in the same house. We talked about this when we did electron towns. So instead of having individual seats, Atomic Stadium has couches or love seats. <laughs> Such lovely electrons, they like to come in and sit together. So we have couches in Electron Stadium, so we can put two electrons per kind of seating assignment. Okay, so electrons come filing into Atomic Stadium one by one. Here comes our first electron and it's going to sit down in the first available seat which would be front and center and we'll put that electron in there. Now remember the symbol for the electron was kind of like a half arrow but if I put a half arrow in here, I'm going to mess up my couch, so we'll just do a circle right there. And then, electron number two comes filing into the stadium, and it's going to take the first available seat. So, it'll sit right here next to the first electron. And these would have to have opposite spins with your half arrows, but again, I don't want to mess up my couch, so I'm just going to do circles for this one. And then, when the next electron were to come filing in, it would notice there's no more seats in, in this block right here. So it would have to go, here's the electron coming filing in, it would have to go to the next block of seats. And the next block of seats would be energy level 2. And in energy level 2, we have row S and we have row P. Now remember there's three places to sit in the P row. So we'll have three lines in the P row. And I'm not going to draw couches anymore because that's kind of complicated. So we'll just do lines. And then since we've just done lines on this one, we can do our electron symbols. As they come to sit in the seats, here comes electron number three. It's going to sit in the first available spot, which is right there in the S. So there's one. And then the next electron comes filing in, and it still wants the best available seat, which is going to be right here 
in the s, so then the 2s has two electrons in it. And now, the next electron that were to come filing in, now it doesn't have any other options, it has to go sit in the p row, and within the p row, each of these three seats is pretty much the same. There's no giant columns or poles in the way in atomic stadium. So each three of these three seats is the same. It doesn't really care which one it sits in. Right there. And then when the next electron comes in, here he comes, sauntering into the concert. Now he's got a choice. This electron could sit here right next to the first. But stretch your imagination a little bit. All these electrons come to the concert by themselves, and they don't know any of the other electrons. So if you went to somebody's house with a whole bunch of people you don't know, are you going to choose to sit on the couch buddy-buddy with a complete stranger? Probably not. And electrons are the same way. So as this next electron comes filing into the concert, it's going to take the first available empty seat. And that would be right here. And then again, watch the electron come filing in. Now it's going to sit in the next available empty seat. And then, at this point, when the next electron comes in, there's no empty seats available. But it can share a seat with any of these three electrons that are already here. And that would still be better than sitting further back in the stadium. So the electron chooses then to come in and sit next to the first. And again, more electrons come walking into the concert and they sit in the first available seats. And now energy level 2 is all full, energy level 1 is all full, that means we have to go to energy level 3. So we'll go to energy level 3. And just like before, we'll put in our rows, we have the S, we have the P, and the D. And just as before, our electrons would come walking into the concert and decide where to sit. There's two electrons. And then the P row would fill up like this. One, two, three, four, five, six more electrons, just like that. And here's where things get a little bit weird. We talked about this, about how sometimes sublevels from one principal energy level will overlap with sublevels from another principal energy level. And this is kind of a strange idea, but based on the shapes, it turns out that the 4S seats, we'll pretend they're right here, this can be 4S, actually end up being closer to the nucleus than the 3D. So the 4S would fill first, and then the 3D. Again, spread out the electrons before you pair them up. So there's the first five, and now they can pair up to fill the rest of the D orbital. And those electrons will do that because of the way the shapes are. So let's put the shapes up here so that you can see what they would look like. I'm going to do two pictures here. So we put these shapes on a coordinate plane, just like in math, so you can kind of tell which directions they're going. This is the x and this is the y direction. And we could do the z direction, which kind of goes back into the page and then comes out of the page. And our energy levels start at the nucleus. We'd have a sublevel S. This would be the 1S. Then we would have the 2S. Would be a little bit further out, a little bit bigger. 
Then we would have the 2P, and the 2P, remember, looks like kind of like little bow ties. So there's one in this direction, and in this direction, and, whoops, this is getting kind of messy, in this direction. So there's the 2P. And then after that, we would have the 3D, or the 3, sorry, the 3S here. The 3P, and these shapes look the same, they're just getting bigger, and you can tell that my picture is getting pretty messy, like that, 3P. And then on top of this we could put the 3D. But rather than put that on top of that picture, I'm going to start a new one. And the point of this picture is to show you why the 4S will fill with electrons before the 3D. So I'm going to keep some of the shapes from before, but not all of them, so that you can actually see what's going on. We're going to take the 3D, which was where we left off last time, the 3D, which most of them look like flower petals. So if I was going to put the 3D on here, it might look something like this. And we'd have four flower petals. Then, from the very beginning, we had the 1S, the 2S, and the 3S. And then we'll switch colors. The next one would be the 4S. And the 4S would be right here. And you can kind of tell, even though this isn't a very good picture, you can kind of tell that the 3D sticks out further from the nucleus right here than the 4S. So because the 3D sticks out further than the 4S, the 4S will fill before the 3D will fill. Because the 4S is further in and the 3D is further out. So when they're going to the concert in Atomic Stadium, that makes 4S a better seat than 3D because the 4S is closer in and the 3D is further out. Okay, I think you're ready for your last set of notes.